Ah, it's out of order. I need, I need gas to get to my next adventure. Now what am I gonna do? Hey, Namaskar everyone, how are you? Hopefully everybody's been doing fantastic. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. I hope you're gonna stick around. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and welcome back. As always, welcome back means we are on another adventure. And that also means that you're gonna wanna know where we are and what we're doing. So where we are, let's start with that. We are in the state where the motto is, with God, all things are possible, and that would be Ohio. Now, I like that motto. That motto is pretty cool because it doesn't, it doesn't specify one deity. And being that we're in a melting pot, uh, it doesn't exclude anybody in that motto. So whatever your deity is, whatever the God it is, whatever your God is, all things are possible. So I thought that was pretty cool. But what area of Ohio are we in? Well, we are in the gateway to the Amish because the Amish were the first settlers to show up in the area that we are in. And that would be Sugar Creek. So what are we doing in Sugar Creek today? What, what is the adventure going to be? Well, th believe it or not, in this small town of Sugar Creek, there's a lot to do, a lot to see. Are we going to be able to do it all? Probably not, but I'm going to show you some major pinpoint areas of Sugar Creek, of this small town, to try to entice you and maybe get you to come out and enjoy Sugar Creek for yourself. So I guess today's adventure, we're going we're gonna to get a little cuckoo with it today. So if you're ready for today's adventure, I suggest you get off the couch, you get ready, and let's go. We are right here. Right here. That is fantastic. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, shoot. Look at all of them. I think they're ready to kick my ass. Harden saliva. You're okay. You're okay for watching my channel. Why are these? God, Mamma Mia, look what we got. Shh. I said there's people still sleeping. Calm down. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I told you she was afraid of bridges. Do not. Stop it now. That is the starting point of the trail. I, I guess. I don't know. You can start at the beginning or you can start at the end. I don't think it matters wh where you start at. Uh, but wherever you start, that's your starting point. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why I tell you, if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. Take a sip. <sighs> History. Better Malanga. Okay, so we know we're in Sugar Creek, Ohio. Amish were the first settlers to come into this area. Now, if we go back in time a little bit, but a little further than when the Amish were here, say around, I don't know, 1830-ish, somewhere around that time period, Swiss immigrants and also German immigrants came into this area. Now, the Amish, when they came here, they had their woodworking skills. They, they had their farms, they had their dairy. Keep that in mind, keep that in the back of your mind. So the Swiss, the Swiss and German immigrants came here. They brought their cheese making skills with them. So combine the cheese making skills along with the Amish dairy. I told you to keep that in the back of your mind. Cheese factories uh, started popping up everywhere. That made this area become more of a tourist destination. Um, they started having yearly festivals. I, I think they still do that. They still have a yearly Swiss festival. So this was a big tourist area. Um, as you can see, we will walk the town a little bit and we'll get to that in a little bit. I know you're, you're, you're really looking at that right now. I know you are, but you can tell uh, that 
this was like a Swiss, they made this into a Swiss village uh, with the Alpine style architecture. Yeah, this is, this is Main Street and Broadway right here. This just whole block, you go further down there, some mills down there and such. But um, yeah, this is, this is, I guess you could call this um, uh, the little Switzerland of Ohio is, is what they dub it as. But there's a lot to do and see. And I'm gonna show you some of the major pinpoint areas. Like this wall right here. This is the one of the first things, uh, depending on where you park, but here's a little parking lot right across from the cuckoo clock, which we will get to. Here's a memorial for, I think that's a rocket, uh, a little rocket launcher there, but little murals that are carved into the brick which is really cool now this is the stone mural there should be 13 panels let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen panels and these were actually designed these were actually designed and in, in uh and carved by uh local cheryl krylo um and uh the 13 panels kind of represent uh the history of sugar creek now a little fun fact i'm gonna go through here and uh if you want to take a closer look pause and you can uh see look there's like the little mills there's a tow motor right there there's a truck up there the pine trees the excavator finzer brothers so that must have been a little looks like a little coke oven right there Hope that music in the background doesn't affect uh, anything. <laughs> There's music playing throughout the town. Looks like they're making some cheese in there. You got the, the dairy truck right there, the cows. Bells up there. Playing the, playing the alpine horn up there. Oh, and look at this right there. I'm gonna try to get a close up. There is a uh, little um, wasp nest right there, so that's... Yeah, I'm not gonna get real close to that. Don't wanna get real close to that. They're in their Swiss garb. There looks like they're wrestling right there. I like that cow with the cow with the cow with the bell right there. Look at that. Train. There used to be a train that came through here as well. Um, there is a museum out here. Yeah, here's the Baltic. Uh, man, that's that's cool. I like these. I like these. The horse and Horse and carriage. We saw stars. Look at that. That's a look at the little look at the little possum and raccoon up there. So there it's pretty detailed. This is pretty detailed. What does that say right there? Dribblers, 1962 to 1973. The post office. Wow. How cool is that? Uh yeah, there's the Baltic, Dundee, Sugar Creek. But a little fun fact about Sugar Creek, this was not always called Sugar Creek. Um, the fire truck, there uh, uh, there was a, a little community called Shanes, Shanesville that bordered where we are right now. And so Sugar Creek back then was known as East Shanesville. They eventually merged together and I believe it was 1969, that is when they called this Sugar Creek is when they merged. But uh, let's continue with these murals here. <laughs> Look at that. Alpine Museum right there, which is right over there. We're, I'm going to take you in there, actually. We're going to go walk around in there because that shows uh, it's a museum about the history also of uh, the Amish and the Swiss and the Germans. But yeah, these murals, man, you could sit here and just look at the, the detail in here wow this is great the budget there he's reading the budget which is a news that's a local newspaper um here in sugar creek got the amish there i don't know i can't tell maybe they're preparing or maybe they're just talking they have the um their clothes hanging up they're playing baseball up there what's over here now yep the whole history of uh the whole history of the town right there and what's this here looks like what's that a uh i don't know it looks like a church kind of thing to me going on there they got some basketball 
basketball looks like a diploma kind of thing a little staff chemistry maybe maybe that's symbolizing of uh all the all the things that after you graduate that you can do maybe huh could be could be oh that sun really uh did it up for me here but yeah check this out that was cool so that's uh depending on where you park well look at that he was camp we were just camping last week look at that yeah these, these, this is a nice mural so uh if you come here and it's you'll, you'll find a lot of places to park like i said we're gonna walk to the cuckoo clock next but i parked right here and right from where i'm at i got the wall we got the museum we got the cuckoo clock let's go talk a little bit about the cuckoo clock this what you're about to see is the world's largest cuckoo clock well that's what they that's what they say it is which, which is it's 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 somewhat true the um yeah hear that music going around oh my god oh boy there's that sugar creek sign let's kind of get away from that music a little bit but actually the largest cuckoo clock is in triburg germany and that that was since 19 1997 1997 the largest cuckoo clock is in in triburg germany now this cuckoo clock we're about to see look at that there used to be a guy here there used, or somewhere around here i don't know maybe it was here it looked like it might have been on top of here there was some uh dancer or something that used to stand right there i don't know what happened to it but let's go through here and uh talk about this cuckoo clock this cuckoo clock i told you the, the largest one is in germany but in 1977 the guinness book of world records said this was the largest cuckoo clock at that time and then in 1978 it was actually on the cover of the guinness book of world records so you could actually look at, uh look that up and see but there's some amish see you're in amish town gateway to the amish there's an amish coming right now hear the sound of that that's awesome that is very awesome if you're not used to seeing um the amish uh you're in for a treat you're in for a treat now i don't know if that sun is letting me pick up this because i want to talk i want to talk about this before uh before it goes on man look at that the largest cuckoo clock in the world at one time it's 23 foot 23 feet tall 24 foot wide it does go every half hour and every hour it goes on um it's going to be awesome when we when it does happen i'll show you here um this was actually built in 1972 um, by Carl Schluterman. Carl Schluterman uh, built this in 1972. Now, uh, he started in, I think, mid-60s mid is when he actually started building this. This is not the original location for this cuckoo clock. It was actually at a restaurant called Alpine Elpa in Wilmot, Ohio. Okay? And it was there for quite some time. Now, I know in 2007 they did restore uh so, you know, it was out in the elements for for a long time, so they restored some of the mechanics and and some of the figures and whatnot. Uh that restaurant ended up closing and I want to say in I want to say 2010 is when this was bought. It was bought at an auction and uh, Walnut Creek Cheese bought this cuckoo clock and they ended up uh, giving it to Sugar Creek. Um, they gifted it. It was a donation for Sugar Creek. And yeah, this is awesome. This is very awesome. Uh, again they did have to repair it and restore some of it again and bring it back up to working order and in 2012 in 2012 i've read two i see i i've read 2012 and i've read 2015. i want to say it was in 2012 this was put in in its final location which is right here that we're looking at right now 
and it's been cuckooing ever since so let me show you a little bit before it, it starts it, like i said it goes every half hour and every hour but look at that you get, it's hard for me to see because of the sun you, it, it has that alpine style look at that you got the you got the pine trees you got the pendulum in the middle there you got the deer up there and the bird there's a cuckoo that comes out of there guy with the lantern look at that has the sugar creek right there it's like an old mill has the water even got the water in there now once yeah see world's largest cuckoo clock so that that is true that that is true back in the 70s that was true but if you can see let me step on this bench because i can't get that high these these will start spinning okay and i i don't know how long ago it was i don't know how long ago it was but the woman which is olga she was actually vandalized yeah yeah some little punk little kids probably which which it was because i don't know where it would have been one of the neighbors i think saw two kids their parents were here and they were watching the clock and the two kids crossed the fence and actually went up there while the clock was on and it was spinning it hit one of the kids and broke the arm off and then they had to repair it so it was it was uh she was not there she was not dancing uh for anyone at that time because some parent wasn't watching their kid i guess but uh it's about to start again before this starts the music plays so i kind of have to edit a little bit so when you see in any of the video any youtube videos you watch um that things are edited because you know and it's like why do you do that it's because of the copyright claims so get ready you're in for a real treat with this thing this is going to be great Swiss Hilltoppers right there on his drum. How cool is that, right? And there they go. There they are. And they'll be back in another half hour. But if you didn't notice too, when they built this, they wanted this to look good all the time. So if you look, they got AstroTurf. It's not real. So it looks good all year round. And I didn't show you yet, but here is the sign, the historical marker for the giant cuckoo clock. So pause that and read it. Uh, yeah, the Alpine Alpa Restaurant, Wilmot, Ohio. I've not, I've never seen it in that location. I've only seen it here. Um, I've seen it in like uh, brochures and whatnot. Um, yeah, see, it started in the 60s. That was Carl Sch Schluterman, which I told you, and Guinness Book of World Records in 1978. Now, it was 1977 that it was actually in, uh, noted as uh, the world's largest cuckoo clock, but it came out in the book in 1978. Um, yeah, that 2007, they remodeled it. Uh, clock was moved. 
in 2012. Now it was moved to 2012 in this spot right here, but in 2010 is when they uh, bought it from auction and uh, brought it here to Sugar Creek. But there is uh, the cuckoo clock. That is awesome too. Uh, you can see that the hinges broke on that door, but there they are uh, inside the door, ready to come out in the next half hour. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to, yeah, look, people, People are starting to gather. There was nobody here when I got here. But uh, we're gonna make our way up to the Alpine Hills Museum. Cool. Good times. What do you think of the, uh, what do you think of Sugar Creek so far? It's cute. Hold on. Was that about, that was about the town? Yeah. Thought it was about me. Okay. And there it is. That's where we're making our way to, Alpine Hills Museum. Look at the architecture up there. That's awesome. And this is actually also an information center. But look at the uh, look at the designs. It has that swish. I keep on saying sw swish. Swiss designs, even up there. That's cool. It has the little flags up there. Alpine Hills Museum. All right, let's go check this out. Like I said, this is going to be. Uh, this is going to be all uh, history, history about the area. I hope they got the horns up top there. Okay, yeah, this is this is really cool. Now this is the information information area when you come in here. And a mural. Yeah, right. Well, you know, and you got a little Okay. Yeah, there should be. There's. I forget how many murals or around town but you'll see these murals uh, what was that Tom Miller. Yes. okay Tom Miller was the artist how many murals were there there was quite a few at one time some have gotten covered up but right now we have I think it's five okay is that right Esther murals there's one at the McDonald's Okay. But that one isn't operating. There's one over the fire station, one over the bank, one over the lawyer's office, and one over the, the uh, home zone. Home's locker. Okay. Is it one, is it, isn't there one that has a train? Like, That's going? the one at the bank. By the bank. Okay, the I'm going to try it. there's a train at the one at McDonald's, too. Oh, okay. I'll have to look and at those ones. You have to go through the drive-thru. You have to go through the drive-thru to see. You don't have to go through it, but you can park over there. Okay. okay. What happened to the mural, uh, the donut shop, the Amish donut shop? Wasn't That was an old gas station, right? Yeah. They what covered it up. Oh, it's actually covered. They didn't, they didn't, oh. That's what I know. Okay. I didn't see it being ripped down, but I saw it. Oh, uh, okay. The area was covered. Here's a... Uh, they got some different pictures hanging up. Yeah, see, here's the Ohio Swiss Festival. Right there. They're dressed in, look at that, they're dressed in their garb right there. And here's another mural. I'm 9% Swiss, just saying. Right here, talks about this bench. Came from the Wheeling and Lake Erie Depot. Wow, okay. Welcome to Sugar Creek, the little Switzerland of Ohio. Okay, I suggest if you come here, watch the video. I wasn't going to put it on, on, on my channel. It's a nine-minute video. It's short, but if you come here, definitely stop and uh, watch it. It's well worth it. Awesome history. Thank you so much. Now, let's go. Yeah, look at this museum here. Got some calendar prints in here. And again, I hear music playing, but here we go. It tell, it shows the history. There's these rooms. Welcome there at to the our table. 19th century Amish kitchen, which was the center of the Amish Look family stove life. right there. It was functional, warm, and cheerful. Since farm work was physically demanding, huge meals were cooked and enjoyed here. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's what's gonna be kind of the whole uh, system here. Oh, I see something really cool. I love cheese. Look at that. Oh, check this out. It's 
Anthony doing such a good job. All right, I mixed the cheese. Look at this. Wow, look at this. World's largest Swiss cheese sandwich. I would definitely eat that. I'm telling you, I love cheese. All these plates, this reminds me of my grandma. She used to collect those kind of porcelain plates. Got the Swiss flags down there. Look at that immigrant trunk. Little dolls. Look at the, the uniforms here. I don't know what they would wear. What is this? Oh, okay. They, yeah, the Ohio Swiss Festival started in 1953. I told you this this area, they started becoming a tourist uh, area. Little little hat right there. I like these bells. Actually, it reminds me of a temple when I see those. That's really cool. That is really awesome. We got the old signs. Alpine Hills area. Test bottles up there. So this is all milk and oh, milk tester. So this is all like milk and, and cheese uh, equipment here. That's very awesome. Very awesome. Look at this. Here's another. Uh, look at these bells. I, I I dig those. What are the bells for? Let's see. Okay. I'm always afraid to touch those bells wherever I go and they have those. I'm always afraid to touch them for some reason. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Here, look, I, I want those. That reminds me of a temple. Wow. Look at the big kettle. So that would be, I'm guessing that would be kind of like what that was for when they were making the cheese and the cheese curds. What's it say? Here I am talking, thinking about what it is, and I should actually read it, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Very awesome. All the buckets. That is cool. That is very awesome. Wow. <coughs> Look at those uh, bricks. What are those? Those are neat. Look, simulating the fire going on to heat the kettle up. I, I'm really, I'm really loving those bells. I'm really loving those bells. Look at that. 1916. It's over here. A lot of information in here. Wow. Look at the dolls. Wow. Yeah, I would say this is, you, you probably definitely want to come into this museum. Um, that's what I was telling you. Um, I'll tell you while I'm, when I'm looking here. Uh, this actually is a free museum to come into, okay? They do take donations, but this is free. In my videos, I kind of always like to show you free things to do. Not that I'm a cheapskate, but I show you free things to do growing up. Uh, you, or not growing up, but I had five kids. And, <laughs> you know, not a lot of money, a lot of memories, though, because I did a lot of free things. And I love telling people what's out there, what you can see, what's free, especially if you have a big family. These are the kind of things you want to see. And it's it's... You know, I mean, look at the toys. Look at the toys. And especially that that, that cheese. I was mixing the cheese. That's fun if you were a kid. So that's why I like to show you some of the free stuff. But a lot of these places do take donations. So uh, if you can give, give. If not, um, you know, take the information and uh, memory that you get from it. I like those little dolls. Wow. Yeah, there's those bells again and the horns. Look at that postcard back there. That's cool. Wow. Beautiful Switzerland. Cowbell. So those must all be cowbells. Look at those right there. Look at those dolls. Uh, the Amish right here 
Ooh. Uh oh. Some punishment, is that what that was? Here's all the bonnets. Got a little different one. Church cap. Another church cap. Another two. Yeah, they're all church caps and different caps. Here's another uh, woodworking shop. Yeah, this is very awesome. There's the Amish straw hat right there. And you do know, too, when you see the Amish, when they don't have a beard, they're gold. When they have a beard, they're married. <laughs> so, yeah, little, little things that uh, many people don't think about, you know, when they see the Amish. Interesting lifestyle, though. Interesting lifestyle. Right here is, uh, if you looked on the mural uh, that I showed you, you've seen a little little carving with the budget. You've seen the man reading the newspaper, and it, it had the budget on it, local newspaper. So that's pretty cool. See, when you see things on murals like that, that and then you actually see something else for it, that, that's really cool. Yeah. The budget. Yep, and there's an old paper of it right there. That's cool, that is very neat. And then here was the home of the budget. I can uh, go in here, and this is all the printing. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see the name on there, that's cool. Cleveland, Ohio. All the printing area. Printing uh, presses and stuff. Wow. I'm trying to find the back one. I think it's back that way. <laughs> it's like creepy. <laughs> yeah, that's all the printing. Printing presses. Looks uh, looks intimidating. Looks like you might get your hand stuck in there or something. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Okay, how you, and this is, you're Becky, and then... I'm the curator. The curator here. So she's going to show us around a little bit. A little. I think they're special. I like a lot of this stuff you see, like the budget downstairs. That downstairs, yes. if you go, I was telling everybody, if you go across the street and you look at the, yeah. you look at the mural over there, you'll see a guy reading, and, and he's yes. reading the budget newspaper. So, I think it's pretty awesome yeah, that yeah. since 1890 they've been printing that. And it's, it, it's still going, right? It's Is it still, still going? going, yes. And it's like 50 pages every week Wow. that they put out. You know, newspaper companies have Is that just down. Is that just for here? Is well, that... it goes around the world, basically. Well, okay. Because it's for the Amish communities. Oh, so it's actually for... All the Amish. It's, then. it's not just specifically for. Well, yeah. they have a local section too. Okay. Wow. Just for Sugar Creek, which I think is pretty. Cool. That's cool. But you can't wow. separate the two. If you want okay. the newspaper, you got to buy the whole thing. Oh wow. That's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. I just found it neat because I was looking at the mural and I was like, I just, there was a guy reading it. Yeah. The budget on it. Yes. So that was so awesome. So this is this is the the school display, and. Um, Actually, to really get the history of Sugar Creek, you've got to know about Shanesville. Shanesville came first in 1818, and it was established up on the hill where 39 and 93 cross. Okay, okay. and this is what I was telling you all about. Shane, yeah, because I told them, and then they merged. Yes, so. yes. Well, what happened, I don't know if you know the story, but the train came through. The okay. trains were so powerful. Okay, I didn't get involved in that. I was just, yeah. I, you know, the store. So, so that's the, awesome. They that put the train in down here. Okay. But then the businesses up in Shanesville want to be close to the train, of course. Right. And so, so a lot of the businesses moved down here, and they called it East Shanesville for a while. Okay. Then they right. wanted. Then what happened was, then the businesses. They wanted their own post office. They didn't want to go back up the hill to get the mail. Okay. So then they had to come up with a name. So they had asked for Finley, and they were turned down because somebody already had Finley. You okay, know, Finley, Finley, Ohio. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they come up with Sugar Creek because of the creek. Okay. And because a lot of sugar maples around here. Yeah, yeah. So, and then 
actually Sugar Creek kind of kind of blood kind of blood Shanesville dry so to speak and then Shanesville what the the crucial moment was when Shanesville needed a new sewer system and they didn't have enough of a tax base ah, to okay. do it. <laughs> okay. And they had talked back and forth about merging with Sugar Creek for years and that was kind of like the last straw. Okay. And so they closed down the, the village of Shanesville and I believe it was December 31st, 1968. Okay. And it all became Sugar Creek. Okay. Okay. So that's because I think what I read it was '69. It became official. I thought okay, I, I read. Maybe, I see. I see 1969. Yeah. So, but you yeah, you know more than in, I would. Well, I'm just... it's down in the book at '69, but okay. I think it would. I okay. Think it would happen the 31st December on '68. Right. I think. When you're reading information, like yes. I said, the Cougar Clock, it that was at the one time in 1977, but it was in the 1978 world uh, yes. record book. So. When you read some of these things, it's it's like yeah, there's like so I many know. dates. <laughs> it is, and, and dates are important. Yes, I, yes. As a history person, but that's awesome. I, you you delved into dates. that a little bit more. I, I can remember dates. I'm good with dates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, so there was a high school called, and it's interesting to me that they put Sugar Creek first, Sugar Creek Shanesville High School. You got the water. So pump. you see the S S H S, and then it became Garraway. At one point, they changed the name. Okay. And the interesting thing about that name, maybe I'm going to give you too much information, but maybe not. We'll <laughs> see. You can always delete. No, you're fine. You're fine. Anyway, they combined the names from three of the townships to come up with Garraway. Okay. There was a Sugar Creek Township. There was the Auburn Township. <sighs> And I have trouble with that third one. I have to get that information for you. Okay. So they had a contest for different people to come up with a new name. And they come up with Garraway. Because I thought it was really odd to move here five and a half years ago. And it says Garraway on the high school. And I'm thinking, why not the town? Oh, okay. So, but that's that's what that was ah. kind of. So that includes Dundee and Regersville and um, Baltic are all part of this school district. Wow, okay, awesome. So schools, I feel, from from since I've been here, I feel that schools are a big deal. And then there's the Amish schools that are everywhere. Yeah. That um, I thought, another thing I thought was, they just had one teacher. Right there. But they actually have about three Amish teachers. Oh, so okay. So it's not all on one. They yeah. share duties, and um, I think that's a great plan to do wow. it like that. And I've been to some of these programs that these Amish kids put on. They memorize everything. And they stand up there and they recite stuff and they sing songs. And it, it's about an hour and a half program. And oh, okay. every wow. single grade and every single child is totally involved in the programs. So yeah, that's the, awesome. And the parents and the grandparents are very supportive. Nice. They all nice. come. Yeah. So you moved here five years ago then? Yes. Is that, oh, wow, okay. I moved here from Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I wanted to point out this quilt here. Look at that. This quilt was done special. It says 5302, but it was actually for the 50th anniversary of the Ohio oh, Swiss, the Swiss Festival. Festival yep. And I, I found this picture of these three ladies, and so I was on the hunt for those three ladies. Oh, wow. Only one of them is still alive. Uh, okay. But then when I pursued it further, I found out that there is more people that were involved in this quilt, and the, and the names on the are back right side. here on the back side. So then I was on the hunt for more people. Wow. And I worked really hard, and I was able to... That's the 50th to, annual, huh? Yes, I was able to gather most of them, and I lined up some uh, uh, rockers here in front of the quilt, and I had oh, them wow. hold the quilt. Very cool. And I had them come, and I took pictures, and very I wrote cool. a story, and put it in the budget. Oh, know? okay, very cool. Yes. Very yes. cool. Yes. Yes. Speaking of toys... Look at the dolls See that, over there. See that trunk back there? Yep, she's talking about that trunk I right there in the corner. I found that trunk in a closet. And I brought it out. I was half scared to open it up. And when I opened it up, I found the... This is just some of the toys. That oh, I this found. was actually in there. Those toys were oh, in there. Oh, wow. And I thought, I got to know the history. What's the story with these toys? 
Well, I as I as I questioned some individuals and I found out that that third street school, which was represented kind of back in that last display, when the Andrus furniture people took that over as their warehouse, and then they decided to sell it, and it, it's tore down now. Okay. But they found these toys up in the attic. Wow. And so they gathered them up and brought them to the museum. Wow. That's but awesome. I wanted them to get them out to display them. Yeah, that's um, because I thought that, that is excellent. Like, yeah, look at these dolls. These dolls are great. I this love dresser here was made by this company, this cabinet shop in Shane that was part of Shane's. Oh, Shane's mill. Wow. Yes, and I like so to there's, point out. I, I love when I see history of just things that aren't here no more. Wow. And I want to point out the dovetail. Dovetail, yeah. And yes. I'm, a, I'm a woodworker, so I really oh okay wow I really appreciate this and and oh, then yeah the hair there's the old yeah and people are intrigued with that mm -hmm. yeah that whole Victorian thing yeah, yes. that went on yeah and when they made these they made them to be locked and they put people's names on okay. it's just incredible I mean they really made them for them for life you know that they planned on keeping them forever. So this area here is a replica of one of the shops we had downtown here in Sugar Creek. And uh, Margaret Putt, the Putt name is very strong. If you were over there at the brick wall, then you saw the Putt Memorial. Yes. Okay, and we'll talk about him more when we get over in the military area. But um, the store was located where there's now kind of an antique store down there. It's right next to the gospel shop. Okay. Um, he has painted it gray now, but that's where this was. And so the, here's some representation of things that, that were in that store. Look at some of these old postcards on the machine. I like those old prints too. Wow. Yeah, look, <laughs> look at these. These are, these are great. Those are great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, look at the tea. Okay, tea cups. Over that. that looks like a child set to me. Anyway, yeah. I want to point out uh, Archie and his wife, uh, the wedding picture. I know the date is there, but, but you can see the flapper dress. So you yes. know they were married in the 20s. Wow. And what a handsome couple. Well, this is Archie's barbershop here, and he was known as Itch. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, and the parking lot. Oh, I got across, the waiting if seats. If you look across out our front windows, you see a parking lot and you see the building. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Archie, this is what I just love to tell this story. So Archie was located in the front with his barbershop, and his wife was in the back here, and she had a bit of a hair salon. Okay. Wow. Current, currently, the barber shop is back I here. I see. Yeah, because I'm parked in the parking lot over there. So. And the salon is in the front now. Oh, okay. So they and, it reversed up. A yes. Bit. And this this building has so much history. At one time, this was the band hall. And when we get over in the music room, and I point out the the musical the the band uniform yeah. that they wore, that it said band hall up at the top. Oh, okay. And this lower thing didn't really show they they took a chunk of earth away from the street because it was a higher hill there at one time and okay. they brought it down more level and then it then it opened up more down here wow so yeah so this like is Archie's like barbershop and then this particular piece here that people are very intrigued with actually came from from west virginia oh parkersburg and here's a here's a picture of it, and I think oh, wow. they wanted to get rid of it, and they talked them into taking it. Wow! So, but it's kind of neat, the marble. Yeah. And uh, I mean, they made it. Yeah, this is the whole setup. Wow. Yeah, they made it to last. Yeah, you that's a sh sure. put your shoes up. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, she had to go downstairs and <laughs> shut off the speaker for the music, because y'all know music and YouTube doesn't go together. So, 
that was very awesome of her to do that. So that's what we're waiting for, um, for her to come back up. But I just noticed this, Shanesville Police. That is awesome when you see uh, things that just don't exist no more. Look at that, the uh, police force back in the good old days, so it says. Sugar Creek, Ohio. Very cool. Yeah, this I guess would be the military, the military room in here. Show you some of the pictures and show until she comes back up here. Wow. I, I like when you see the uh, alpine horns. It reminds me of Reminds me of Ricola. <laughs> Sugar Creek. Little postcard. Tusca, what is that? Tusca Peck Station. And she's back. Yeah, like I said, that was up to you. When yeah. when music plays on here, it, yeah. it throws copyright claims yeah. and then it, it you have to yeah. cut okay. it out. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, in this room, I'm intrigued by how many businesses were here in the early years that thrived. And I found these in the closet too, and I put them on. Wow. On. Well, I had all this promotional stuff, and I thought, well, this okay, yeah, it is. tells wow. a little bit about the paperweights and about stuff. About these companies. So that's why I put it up here yeah. next to the Fishing promo thermometer stuff. right there. Yeah. That's cool. This guy was pretty incredible. He was a teacher and he would do these drawings for for the school children. He would do it, you know, for them. And this is a very valuable piece here. I am amazed at the amount of guys that went to war here in this community being predominantly Anabaptist, Anabaptist being Mennonite, Amish, and Hutterite. Okay. They were very much against that. They wanted to preserve life as much as possible. And I'm amazed at these different ones that were willing to go. Now this is a little bit more about, about this uh, Lieutenant General Donald Putt. He was very oh, okay. instrumental in, um, here's uh, some kind of proclamation. Uh, my understanding in, and I'm limited in my understanding of what all he did. But there's a military veteran here that's told me that things had to be signed and go across his desk before Congress were, would, would move forward with it. He was right. that powerful. Oh, okay. And so wow. he was very involved in missile type things. He was a pilot. And I need to find out more about him. I just feel like I need to know him better. Um, and. Uh, and, and that was with the rocket booster across yes, the street. Yes. I couldn't think of the name. I kept I yes. couldn't think booster <laughs> over yes. there. I was yes. I was like, yeah, the rocket booster. So yes. at the beginning of the video when I couldn't think of the name, rocket booster. Yes. <laughs> so what was the, what was this building then before? What was it originally? Oh, okay. <laughs> you pulled my string again. <laughs> this uh, originally way back, I'm not totally sure. It was built in 1927. But Andrews Furniture, I know about them. It was a furniture store before them, but they had it. This was their downtown warehouse. Now their store is at the end of Broadway, on the corner of Broadway and um, Route 39. Okay. And they had, I found out later, they had more than one fire, but they had a really devastating fire in 1974. Okay. And, I think, you know, it could have taken him out. But Ransom, the father, very involved with this museum, he was just intrigued with how the community came behind and helped support them to rebuild. I hear stories out there of people that still have furniture that they bought at the fire sale wow. at Andrews Furniture. Wow. So, I mean, it's a nice furniture yeah. store. It's, it's good quality stuff. So he wrote a letter to his sons, and I have the letter on file. He has three sons, and he said, 
Um, it's important to give back to your community, and he's and um, you know the community came behind me after the fire in '74, and this letter is dated '77. So I'm going to give the downtown warehouse to Alpine Hills Museum oh, wow. Historical. I wow. hope that's okay with you. Wow. And then he and then he says at the end he says kiss the boys for me love father love dad very very awesome and I thought now he tells them to give back to the community and then he does it yeah what a yeah. good example right and wow. so he's my hero never met him but I do know his oldest son and oh okay I think his oldest son is a lot like him wow yeah and he's That's awesome. very involved continues to be involved with the museum and he helps me. Uh, he gives me money and he says, don't tell anybody. You know? <laughs> so, Mortar and pestle down yeah. there. Well, there was a drugstore. There's a picture of it. That's cool that you got the picture. Oh, I, I, isn't, that, that's, that's... isn't that cool? So, I mean, when you when you have artifacts and you can put a picture to it oh, of yes. what was there. Oh, yes. Cardamom. Like we were just... Yeah. Re, what were we watching yesterday about the whooping cough? We were watching yes. some about. Well, some of the Amish wow. families here have got have dealt with whooping cough. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This right here, I have had family members come specifically to want to see that that piece of gold. Oh, really? Like with that quartz with the yeah. yellow in it. Yep. That's that's gold from the 49ers. There wow. was a guy from this area that went <laughs> west. To, to, to mine gold and he worked a deal where a guy gave him $200 to go. This was the deal. And if he didn't find any gold, then he just would pay the 200 back. Okay. He did find some gold, but he didn't share that information. They think that he possibly found enough to be equal like $2,000. Yeah, more than $200. Yeah, but he didn't <laughs> want to tell the guy, so he just paid the 200 back. There's a picture of him and his wife. Daniel and Barbara Betts. Oh, sure. Oh, okay, man, wow. I see alpine horns. This is the music. Now, these alpines, there's Ransom, Ransom, the one that gave the building to us. It started the furniture Oh, okay. Store. There's my hero. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how many of these he brought. I, these are great. The, the sign is messed up there. But he brought several of these from Switzerland. These are real Swiss. <laughs> Those are awesome when you see them and in real. He, uh, and I gotta show you how they transported them, because this is kind of <coughs> they, uh, they break them down and they put them in a bag. That is, look, there's bells. Oh, these bells are great. I love the bells. Those bells are awesome. <coughs> they break them down and they put them in a bag like this. Oh, okay. And that's how they, they carry him. And see, this still has the tickets on it. He he had to buy oh, wow. another another seat just for the Alcorn to bring it oh, wow. back. But but I think that that's kind of intriguing. It's like too. the Jewish with their hats. Yes. That, what, what, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they purchase a, a separate seat for those hats. Oh yeah. 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 Wow. So you know, I have several of these, and this is the nicest one. Uh, and he's close to 90 when he's doing this. And somebody told the guy. Those are great. And he taught him how to play the out for us. Wow. And. Um, I'm going to take a look at those sticks for a minute. Yeah, sure. Wow. I, I thought they were metal at first. Okay, there they are. These were the same ones that you've seen yeah. in the video that he yeah. was playing. And there's the hickory sticks. Uh, here's some more Tom Miller's paintings. You were intrigued with his Oh, okay. Murals. And this is what he would often do. He would frame them with this material like this. He would paint a picture for somebody and then he would make them a frame and just give them the picture. That's a new stone frame like that, wow. And, uh, the basement. Stuff up there they'll never get to see. And my, one of my goals is to be able to move to the third floor and make at least half of it more museum. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, look at this. 
And I told you this, the smell too. I wish you could put smell in these videos. Yeah, that old building. This is this is one of the prizes here. Yeah, I've already had this in cool. a float. I made a float with this for the Ohio Swiss Festival. And I had a little boy sit here. He was nine years old. Blonde hair, blue eye boy. <laughs> Gave him a paper hat and he dressed like he was selling ice cream. Very and cool. his siblings walked beside the float and passed out freezer pots. Uh, the Amish man that had this just passed away, and I missed an opportunity. I missed a great opportunity. Oh, just recently then? Yes. Uh. He, t he would tool through Sugar Creek all the time on his tractor. He could hardly get on and off the tractor. Okay. But he, as long as he could make it to the senior center and get his free lunch every day or down to the IGA or the Dollar General store, he felt yeah. like it was a good day. Every time he'd see me, he says, you know my sleigh is down in the basement of that museum. <laughs> I know, Dan, I know. And he, he wanted to constantly remind me, now this picture is not even him. This is a doctor that would borrow the sleigh. Oh, I was gonna say, but it is would, the sleigh. Would borrow the sleigh and take the kids for a ride. Oh, okay. This is the window of the oh, Sugar Creek is. Hotel. Yeah, there the it is right there, Sugar Creek Hotel. It sat in where the parking lot for the Huntington Bank is, and it was quite a landmark. A lot of activity in that hotel, not all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what I was told. That, that goes, uh, yeah, That's you hear that often. Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, that often. That was a community spot. Yeah. My mom who grew up in Illinois, born and raised in Illinois, would talk about a spring wagon. Mom, what's a spring wagon? Well, you know. Ah, I said, okay. no, what is a spring yeah. wagon? Well, it looks like the ones on the old westerns. That's what it looked like. It has springs. Yep. She told the story about Grandpa taking a cow to town in one of these. Oh, that poor cow. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa was an old farmer. Uh huh. Yeah. Not yep. just a plain farmer, but an old farmer. Yeah. Where they they made their own rules. Yeah. 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 And yep. This camera was in a box. Wow. In the closet, another closet item. Jeez. And this picture was with it, and then this picture was Ooh. in my office. Which, wow. Isn't that intriguing? Don't you want to know the history? Yes. Of These old pictures. That's what I'm saying. These old pictures. That's a are tin just type. Right. Yeah. Yep. So I thought, wow. people need to see this stuff. Yes. So back here, there's a cutout where he Jeez. stood. And you can kind of see uh, the wood suitcase that that, that, wow. that, um, that that camera was in. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Yes. But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a bucket brigade yes. like and, that. And That's the, the first time round, I've ever seen one of those. So they will not set them down. They got to keep them moving. Oh wow! That's the objective. I guess and so. They yeah. Don't get stolen either. Clever. And that's a leather one. Now, if you've ever oh been, okay, have you ever been to Colonial Williamsburg? All of theirs are leather. I did not know they, that. That's what they had to work with. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. And the volunteer firefighters cleaned all this up and painted it and got it ready for our museum. Wow. That was an incredible gift. I, I think that one's my favorite in there, though. That's, I, <laughs> that's awesome. I've not so, seen that. I... Okay, so that was uh, unexpected, but that was the Alpine Hills Museum. Uh, very, very cool tour. A lot of information in there so if you come here uh definitely you want to check out that museum for yourself um so i told you i was going to show you some of the highlight pinpoint kind of uh of spots here in uh sugar creek so here's another shop right next door that i think is going to be pretty cool inside this is called the secret garden and just by looking outside like if you're window shopping look at that we got some salt rocks look at it, like that little temple kind of thing looks like uh the flowers got some looks like some glass in there right there i think this is going to be like a lot of fairy garden stuff 
I thought it was that bird singing, but it's not. He's over there somewhere. But yeah, this is going to be a big kind of fairy garden uh, kind of uh, thing. Look at that over there. We're going to go inside. I just kind of want to show you the outside. Yeah, fairy garden headquarters. Look at that. And then we're not going to, but I think you can go back and around here I, I actually don't know what that is it looks maybe that's it has all kind of statues and stuff but oh there there's the birds flying around look at the colors the purple black but uh let's go in yeah look this kind of reminds me of when i whenever i see this kind of stuff it reminds me of zanesville walking up the road so here it is right here our next stop the secret garden purple door Oops. gotta love a purple door and here we go I think you're gonna love this shop inside here look at this store Hello in here. here wow look at this Look at the moon. Fairies, little cat right there. That's what I was looking at from the outside. I was looking at this right here. That was kind of neat. Now there's music playing in here too, so it's kind of gonna be a edited walkthrough. Check this out up here. How cool is this? Look at those. How awesome are those? Wow. Wow, this is really cool. Look at look at the fox right there. In there. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at this guy. How cool is that? <laughs> wow. Man, look how far it goes. It even goes back in, in there. Well, we'll walk it. We'll walk it. Look at all. Look at all those. Like they got all those dolls up there. Look at the monkey doll. Up there. Look at that one. That's that's awesome. That's great. Look at that. It is pretty cool in here. Wow. Look at this little nook. Got this little nook in here. Wow. Picking Christmas. Uh oh, it is Christmas. I do see Christmas back here. Oh, it is Christmas. Little Christmas village here. I think my house is small. If not, my, I'll be in trouble with her decorating. <laughs> 
My living room is just the right size. If, I, if it was bigger, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> She's going to want everything she sees here, stick it in the house, and then I'm going to be able to find, uh, find her or the grandkids. <laughs> oh, look at this carousel back here. It's amazing. Excuse me. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Even got the, who's that Santa Claus walking around it? Wow. Here's a upside down too. That's on a different level right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that back there, Santa. How cool is that? Very awesome. It blow my mind. Yeah, this is cool in here. Got the angel. Look, yeah, this is a, this almost reminds me of kind of like Alice in Wonderland, uh, yeah. Wonderland kind of stuff. It's another carousel up there. The angel over there. This is cool in here. Yeah, this whole vibe, this whole kind of vibe reminds me of uh, Alice in Wonderland for some reason. Look at that. Wow, look at all the. The wise men. <coughs> there's a goose. Yeah, there's I, I don't know some. I don't, it's it's like a whole Alice in a Wonderland theme in here. Very cool though. Very cool though. More dolls. Yeah. See. Right. Right. And here's fairy garden stuff here. Wow, there's more fairy garden. Well, it did say fairy garden uh, headquarters. Yeah, look at that. It's a spider. That kind of reminds me of the uh, the auto uh, art display up, up in Erie. Check this out. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no. That's. You are a bad man. I like it, but I hate it. <laughs> That's awesome. Little castle back here. Look at them, look at them dolphins. Wow, look, mermaid over there. Wow. Check those lights out up there. Wow. <laughs> this is this is crazy in here, man. This is an awesome awesome store, man. I like those those little shelves how they do that. That's crazy. I want to go to that little store. Bye. Thank you. All right, that was a cool store in here again. Again, that's the Secret Garden. Very cool spot in there. So right off the bat, I'm telling you, okay, you park somewhere. Yeah, they got people watching the uh, the cuckoo clock over there. So look, if you parked right there, you got the cuckoo clock. 
you got the Alpine Hills Museum, you got the Secret Garden. We're gonna make our way down here, and there's another, I think, what is it, Hangers? I wanna say Hangar 18, but uh, I, I'll tell you when I get down there, I forget what it is. It's Hangar something. Told you we were gonna get cuckoo today. Ah, here it is, right here. Look at this store. Let's let's check out the front, man. Let's do, let's get the uh, facade of the place. What was this hangar? Uh, 81. I think this is hangar 81, is what this is called. But yeah, this is the facade of it. I don't think there's nothing up top really that says anything. It's just these windows. Check this out, man. Look at that, the old crane game. Simpsons, the Squatch. We're back in Marionville. <laughs> so check that out. Private residence. Wow, they must live up there. Yeah, check this out. We. That is very. I don't know if you can see it through the window or not, but. Uh, all right. And you can be part of the uh, Oompa band. You pretend you're on the cuckoo clock and uh, be the Oompa Band. Music again, so a quick walkthrough. And of course we have selfie time. Ooh, check that out. Ooh, check this out. Oh man, guys and gals. It's like a haunted house in here. Oh man. Very cool. <laughs> I told you, there's all kind of stuff to do here in uh, Sugar Creek. Look at these uh, skulls and an avion. Oh, man. Whoa. Far out, man. <laughs> Out, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, this this is cool in here. <laughs> Look at that up there. That would be a cool idea if you had a house and you loved Halloween. To do something like that. Never thought about it. A little clown right there. This is really, really cool, man. A frog on top of that motor. Oh, look at that. Yep, there's Elvira. I didn't see that. Little snake skeleton. Up there, a little baby up there. I don't know if you can see it because it'll light the green light up there. And this guy. Wow.
all right and that was that stop so like i said i'm not going to go to in to every one but uh i'll walk down to the corner and there may be a mural down there that we can see from this point yeah this is really uh really a cool uh cool little city here cool little town or what you want to call it look this has Muma automotive and it has the alpine uh horn on the sign that's cool i like the alpine I horns oh right there another got your Amish. you're gonna see amish all over the place in their buggies okay this is what we were talking about in that one museum i was asking about the murals and stuff and i know there was murals here um here is one right here you're gonna see these murals i i, I like i said there used to be a lot of them and uh that one used to have a train. this one he's skiing right there is this the one she said had the train okay this one used to have a train on it i'm gonna try to find one it has a moving part so we're on park there is uh the one that should be there but there's one mural and i'm gonna walk down here for you uh to show you this one and i'll probably we'll probably walk back to the truck and uh i'll see if we can find one more mural down there i don't know if you can see it or not past if you keep going not too far past like that garage right there they have like these uh not even a bed and breakfast i think they're like train cars that you can stay in uh and stuff so yeah really cool area if you just want to keep it laid back you know this is uh it's a real good spot for it but right here is another mural and they depict you know they depict uh, uh how they lived you know how that culture lived or whatever but here he's pulling he has his horses and he's pulling the uh i hope you can see it because this i like i said i can i can hardly see through my lens because the sun's so so bright but uh yeah there's the lake there's the log cabins over there and he's cutting down trees uh, for for wood for the logs so yeah how cool is that huh yep this is pretty much the town right here main street you'll get to see some amish with their horses and buggies and their e-bikes <laughs> you know and um yeah i mean this is this is what you're looking at so a nice little day drive and around the area i'm it's not going to be in the video but there is breitenbach winery that's close to here i'm going to see if i can get myself some dandelion wine because that's my favorite wine ever but uh i'll meet you when i get a little closer to the truck and we're going to see if we can find at least one more mural Another little view of Main Street walking up. But they have the little Swiss flags. Do some window shopping while we uh, walk up that way. What is this? Oh, decanters and steins. There's some trains there. Yeah, I guess they do have steins in there. Yep. But you can always window shop. Like I said, I'm not going in every one. So I just showed you some of the prime... Uh, spots oh look at those that us oh, tissue paper yeah. that was a cool <laughs> little shop i hear the cuckoo clock again as you can see every half hour people are just lining up for it <laughs> A little bit more crowded than when we were here earlier, huh? All 
right, we're gonna see if we can find that other mural, which I think is up here. I think I spotted it a little further than I thought it was, but it's right down there on that uh, on the fire department. So we'll check that one out, and uh, then I think that's where I'm gonna end the video, actually. But check this out. I just noticed this. Oh, look at that. The, that's a cool house right there, huh? The Floral Chalet. Wow, look at that. They are closed, okay. But look at this. That's, that's neat. That is awesome. Okay. Look both ways. And that's cool right there. There's the little silo. But here we are, right here. At the Sugar Creek Fire Department. And we're gonna check that uh, we're gonna check that mural out. And there we go. Another little mural. And it has another scene. There's some cows there. There's a dog. They're rustling up the cows, whatever, the barn. Got the haystacks and the farm behind it all the clouds and then we got that swiss kind of architecture up there very cool very cool and i think i think that's where uh i end my video i was hoping to find a um mural that moved um that was close to me I don't know if I'm gonna find one or not. I think uh, they said McDonald's has one, but uh, you know, if not, when you take your trip here, you can go on like that mural scavenger hunt. Okay, yeah. so I found another mural. This one would have had a train, but the train is not running. It is at a McDonald's and it's actually right there. It's on the side where the drive through is. Um, I'm gonna try to like take a minute here and walk up to it uh, while there's no cars, if that's gonna be possible. Um, looks, yeah, it looks like they remodeled the McDonald's but kept, kept the mural and uh, put, it, put it under glass. So uh, I think we're gonna take a look at this. You know what, I'm just gonna have to walk back up to it. But here, here's the mural because I don't think I'm ever gonna get my chance. But here's the other mural, and a train would have been going over there. So, little the church back there, the mountains. It's a little waterfall. Guy playing his uh, the uh, alpine horn, and the village over there. So that was kind of cool. And if the Hatchet Club, see, I told you, you even on the outskirts here. Uh, there's stuff to do, but I figured I'd insert that in because I did find one more mural uh, Now back to what you were watching All right, so I think that's where I'm gonna end my video um, Again, this is Sugar Creek, Ohio A Little bit longer of a video than I planned, but we got some special uh, Had a special little tour at the Alpine hills museum so that was very awesome um but yeah i want to thank everybody for coming on today's adventure hit the like button hit the subscribe button share the video leave a comment i read all the comments and i try to answer all of them but uh it's time for you to make your own personal trip down here so until i see you on the next adventure wherever that may be